Hi, I'm Karina with KarinasCreations.com and I want to show you how to make this really cute card uh, using the double window technique with the Hearth and Home Thinlet dies and the stamp sets I used are Cozy Christmas, Wonderland and then I put a Winter Wonderland embellishment on the card. So this is the main trick for the double window card. You pull out your Big Shot and I'm using my magnetic platform and I have a piece of smoky slate cardstock and it's cut at four and a quarter by five and a half inches and all I'm doing is laying down my window frame framelit right there right about there and then this is the important part you grab your plastic cutting plate and you make sure that this part of the window frame is covered and you want to cut it cover everything except half of this last little frame. So here's the frame. I'm moving my plate over to only cover half of it because I don't want it to cut all the way through. And then I'm going to send it through the big shot. Crack, snapple, pop. And this is what happens. Pull it off. There we go. So I now have half of the window frame cut. These still these pieces are still attached. So I'm going to roll it through again. Only this time I'm lining up the window frame so that this edge meets this kind of half cut edge. You can kind of see a score line and that's what I'm lining it up to. So I'm lining it up and then I'm moving it in just a little smidge. And now I want to cut the back part of the window frame but not all the way through here. So I'd put my plate through this way. I find it doesn't feed through that well, so I'm actually going to flip it. I find the beveled edges won't catch for me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So I'm putting it through pretty much the same as I did the first time, making sure that only half of it will cut through. And we'll see if it works. So here it is. Oh, it's looking pretty good. And every time I do it, it works a little different. Sometimes I have to hand cut two windows out, sometimes four. The last time I did it, these actually cut right out, but I'm going to have to help it with the paper snips. So you have to do just a little minor cut, which is totally fine. Like I said, every time you do it, it'll be slightly different, depending on where you lined it up with. Same with this one. Cut this one through. Cut out this one. So that's what it's starting to look like. And then just make a snip here. And then on this side. And then you cut out these last two panels. And that's it. You have a double window frame and it's super cute. I already have some Whisper White cardstock cut out. And I cut out a basic dimension, but depending on the size of your window frame, you may have to trim it with your paper snips. And I'm using Mossy Meadow ink. And you want to stamp it high enough so that your little house will show in the window. Because you have to take into account that there's a window frame at the bottom. So we'll see how close I can get to getting it in. I think if I stamp it with about a quarter of an inch at the bottom. Okay, there's my little house. And then I'm using the trees from the Wonderland stamp set, the tree image. And I'm just gonna use the top part. And I'll stamp one tree there. And one tree there. Ooh, it's getting really cute. I love this now. I'm getting excited about it. And then I'm using the snowflakes. And I'm stamping the snowflakes in Smoky Slate. And I ink it up after each time. Okay, let's see what it's going to look like when I put my frame over it. Oh, that's pretty cute. Now I found it needed a little bit to glitter. So I'm taking my two-way glue pen. And I'm going to add a little bit of glitter along the bottom. Now I need a new two-way glue pen. Did you know you have to pump it to get the glue to come out? Or when you get it for the first time, the tip's totally white and you have to pump it to get it to turn blue. 
Then I'm coloring the top of the house and I'll add some sparkles right here. I like to get the scratch paper to catch the glitter and then I just put the glitter on here. And then can you see that? Isn't that cute? So now there's a little bit of snow, a little bit of glitter. Looks super cute. I'm going to add adhesive to the back of my window frame. And I'm using, um, I like the liquid glue because if I need to move a piece or move it over, shift it a little bit, it's a little more forgiving before it's stuck down. I find I get it centered a little bit better. There we go, that's looking pretty cute. Now you can see I've got a little bit of an edge and I'm just going to trim that off just a little bit because I don't want my white showing through on my card. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to put it on a cherry cobbler cardstock base and this is designer paper from the Merry Moments Designer Series Paper Pack and I'll put all the dimensions on my blog. This is coming together quite nicely. I'll put that there. Then I will put on my tree image like so. And then there's one more step. Now I use the cute little embellishments from called Winter Wonderland. It's actually a suite of products that all coordinate together. Look how cute this little snowflake is. And then I'm going to put that here. And then I just, well, I forgot to stamp one thing, but I don't have a block for it, so I'll just tell you about it. This fun stamp set comes with a greeting that says, Have a Cozy Christmas. So I'm just going to stamp that on the window frame and then my card is done. So that's basically it. So I hope you will try the window technique. It is lots of fun. Happy stamping.